Hey y'all, welcome back to the shop. See, cold season's over, so it's time to get busy back here in the shop. And we're gonna get busy over here on monkey business. Uh, we're gonna get the uh, brakes hooked up. Uh, we gotta make a bracket for it uh, that goes on the clutch shaft. Uh, we got some pieces, parts to get that done. So uh, let's, uh, let's get busy and start doing that. Here's what we got going on. We got to connect a rod from this little this little bracket right here up in through there, get around all this stuff, and get up here underneath of this and connect it to a piece on here. So we need to uh, first get this bolted back on and get the clutch set up so we know how much travel, free travel, the uh, pedal has, then we can make our rod up. So, uh, let me get some other, some stuff set up around here and uh, we'll get to uh, making that shaft or making that rod. There you go. I got a little mark down here on my pedal. That's where that's where the clutch is completely disengaged and the second mark there is where it starts to disengage so um, we know that uh, that's where it'll be that's where it has to be at whenever uh, the clutch is engaged you're not pressing on the clutch so now we can get this pulled back off and start laying out for our brake rod all right, y'all. I kind of got the rod temporarily installed. And you can look up here. You can see we got to make a bracket. We're going to use one of these little lock collars. We got to make a bracket that goes on here and up off the top. And we'll pull this brake forward. We got about uh, half an inch or so. So. You know, we'll get the, that set up, and then, you know, we got to have about a half inch throw, so we're going to take one of these, we're going to weld a, a piece that comes up here, probably pretty high, and we'll weld it to it, and get it clamped on there, and then put some holes in it, and uh, that'll be our bracket, so... Let me uh, let me get some marking and cut out stuff done, and uh, we'll bring you guys back. Oh right, yeah, here's our cardboard and crayon design, CNC. Uh, here's our piece that we're going to clamp around the the end that's going to clamp around the that rod. Uh, of course, it'll be open, but uh, up here, you know, is the top end, and somewhere along this plane here we'll draw a 3 8 hole to put that rod through but we need to we need to get about a half an inch of movement so uh, like I said I'm gonna cut this out of cardboard and I'll probably measure it with the cardboard and see how it uh, see how it's uh, see where we need to do a hole um, I got some uh, some nice steel I'm going to cut it out of so uh, let me get this cardboard piece cut out and uh, we'll figure out where we need to you know because it probably won't need to be this long you know so we can cut it off and you know however long we need it so alright give me a second and then we'll uh, get this figured out there you go we've got our design laid out on our uh, piece of steel here uh, this is where it'll go over the shaft. Uh, I'll probably bring these lines in just a hair. 
Uh, that way, whenever we go to weld it, we can actually get a weld, you know, on this edge here, uh, along with the, you know, along the top. So, all right, I'm going to get to cutting. All right, y'all, we got that all, uh, all mocked up there, and uh, now all we do is uh, weld it up. We'll get the MIG welder fired up. This would be a real nice time to have a TIG welder, but, you know, we ain't got one yet, but we're going to get one eventually. So, uh, yeah, we'll get that, uh, get that, MIG, get that TIG, or MIG'd up, welded up, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and we can put, we can install it on the shaft, and then we can figure out where we need to draw a hole in there. So, all right, let's get, uh, let's get this welded up. see what what I did there just kind of weld it around that edge and kind of welded the two corners on that side so she should be strong enough uh, I may actually take the drill bit and drill a hole you know kind of there and do a little plug weld there but uh, yeah she looks pretty good I'm going to let her cool down, and we'll get her cleaned up and uh, test fit it on the shaft. Alright y'all, I kind of got it temporarily on there, so that's about where it'll start, and that's where it'll engage, so, you know, that, that's where it'll start engaging at, so, I think we're going to go ahead and go with the top hole the top part here with a hole and then we can uh, we can go from there so yeah so yeah because there's the uh, fully disengaged there's where the clutch clutch engages and or disengages I guess and you want it a little past that so that you can kind of slip the clutch a little bit so or slip the disengage the clutch before you start engaging the brake so all right let's uh let's uh get that hole drilled and the uh get it hopefully put on there permanently oh we got to cut the rod and bend it too but that ain't no big deal we can do that all right y'all we got our rod uh, cut down and rebent. you see the piece there i cut off of it uh so uh Let's get this thrown up in the tractor, and uh, we'll see, uh, we'll get our bracket tightened down, and uh, we'll see how it works. 
All right, y'all. Uh, got you kind of set up on the tripod. I know you can't really see exactly what I'm doing, but uh, we're gonna throw our shaft, our rod in here, brake rod. Get it back here on the back half. I'll show you all how it looks after we uh, get everything all done up in here. Alright, that's going to be good enough. So, well, you know what, y'all? Uh, I don't I might have made the long rod too long. Uh, I didn't test fit it after we uh, made it, but uh, it'll be alright. Alright. I'm going to have to... I didn't test fit any of this stuff before we uh, started putting it together. So, yeah. It won't fit through the hole. I drilled the hole for the for the uh, cotter pin, and uh, there must be some burrs on the back side there. All right, file here. going to do is this is the end I bent this is the end I bent it's a little longer than this end and I was having a little bit of trouble getting the cotter pin in on this end on the brake so uh, I think we're gonna flip them around and uh, see if that works better oh yeah it's gonna work better I can tell right now there's my cotter pin It. It's kind of cold out here in the shop today. So, yeah, I think. put a little bend in this uh, let me get you off the stand here and I'll show you what I'm talking about the, uh, the bearing mount there we're hitting see where it's hitting right down there uh, so uh, yeah I think I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna mark that I think I'll put a little bend in it and uh, then we'll try to install it again so give me a second and we'll uh, get that done all right y'all we got the uh, the rod in we got it all tweaked and it works all we got to do is put a uh, I'm gonna use a spring in here and run it back uh, probably to this uh, this mount back here for a return spring for the clutch so uh, but uh, that'll be another day um, we may end up having to take this back off and drop this hole down closer to the pivot um, if we have enough it all depends on how much throw we have uh, whenever we get everything all back back in together so uh, but uh, we won't know that until we get further along uh, I mean it's nothing to nothing to unbolt this little bracket that we made that split collar drop it out draw a hole in it bolt it back on um, you know it, it does move quite a bit 
you know, side to side here. And the closer you get down to the pivot, the less it'll move for, you know, the travel or the rotation of the shaft. So, all right. Um, that's another thing checked off the list. Um, all right, y'all. That's going to do it for this video. We got the uh, brake kind of hooked up there on plan or on monkey business, not plan B, monkey business. Uh, I think the next thing we're going to do, we ought to fit the rear fenders and the rear tires and uh, make sure all that's going to fit. Uh, if we need to get spacers or whatever, uh, shim the back tires out and everything and make sure it's all going to fit, make sure the shifter's going to fit under the fenders and uh, we're going to have to probably cut down our filler piece between the dashboard and the rear fenders. So uh, we'll have to end up doing that too. So appreciate y'all watching. Uh, I know this wasn't much of a video, but, uh, you know, baby steps. Uh, got a lot going on here uh, behind the scenes. Uh, I did go get the wood for the, uh, to start building the storage loft so we can make some more storage over on the other side of the shop. Uh, yep, up above, get some stuff up there, you know, old tire, you know, not old tires, but, you know, tires that we're not using right now, some other pieces, parts that we don't need right this minute, and uh, free up some space so we can get some other stuff over there and uh, get more junk in here in the garage so appreciate y'all love y'all uh, like comment subscribe share it out tell your friends uh, we're we're uh, we're gonna call it a day it's been a long day so and it's cold out here in the shop uh, it's, the furnace is running but uh, you know uh, it's still a little chilly out so anyways I'm rambling Thank y'all. We'll catch y'all on the next one.